Hello, this is Sal. Today we will be configuring layer 3 switching and inter VLAN routing. On the description of this video, you will find two files one for the packet tracer source files and the documents to walk you through the lab step by step until you finally will be able to verify the configurations you did during this lab. <coughs> If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and recommend it to your friends. And share it and give me the thumb up. And please, let me know if you have any suggestions, comments or questions. I'll gladly answer you back. First, uh, let's start by configuring the router. And we will give it the name Internet1. This router here. Enable, configure terminal, host name. Internet1. First, the interface facing uh, the MLS, IP address of 209-165-200.226 with slash 30 subnet mask and open the port. And then the other interface facing uh, the other router Serial zero 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 with the IP address of ten dot one dot one dot one slash thirty subnet mask. Now let's do uh, the other router, which will give it a name uh, Internet two. Enable configure terminal host name and the interface of. Zero 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 one. The IP address of ten dot one dot one dot two and enable the port with no shot. Now we will I will work on the switches. We have switch one, switch two, switch three. For the switches I'll uh, enable uh, VLAN 10, 20, 30 and 99. So on switch one, enable configure terminal host name. First, I will uh, uh, start with VLAN 99. Enter VLAN 99 and give it the IP address as showing here of 172.16.99.10 with slash 24 subnet mask. And then we have the three VLAN, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30, and I love to enable them. Simply just type enter VLAN and with the number of the VLAN, and this is a force of habit. Uh, now we have the three, the four VLANs on switch one computer. Now we have the port connecting switch one to the multi-layer switch and we have the port connecting switch one to switch two and switch one to switch three. These are three connections, we'll configure them as uh, trunks. Uh, I'll do them as a range of uh, gig zero one and F05 and F010. Switch port mode trunk switch port trunk native VLAN, I'll choose number 50 to be the native VLAN for the switches. <coughs> now to switch two, we will do the same. Enable configure terminal uh, host name as W2. Now create VLAN 99, now give it an IP address enter VLAN 99, the IP address of, as showing here, 172.16.99.20 with slash 24 subnet mask. Now I will create the other three VLAN 10 and enable it, enter VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. 
Now we have the port F10 here on switch two connected to switch one. I'll configure this as a trunk interface of F010, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN uh, 50. Uh, now we have uh, PCA here, PCB and PCC connected to switch two by the ports of F01, 2 and 3. F01 will be as an access port to VLAN 10, PCB VLAN 20 and PCC to VLAN 30. So now uh, as for the port of F01, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10, this is for PCA, and the other, uh, the fast Ethernet 0, 2, also switch port, the mode is access, access port, access port, switch port, access VLAN 20 for PCB. Now the other port of F03, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. So now we have switch two is configured. So let's jump to switch three. We will do the same here, enable configure terminal, the host name, switch three, first VLAN 99 and give VLAN 99 the IP address, IP address of 172.16.99.30 slash 24 subnet mask. Now also we have the three VLANs, VLAN 10, and I'll enable it, enter VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 the same and VLAN 30 okay <clears throat> I forgot to do something here on switch 2 uh, as the default gateway for the switch would be 172.16.99.30 uh, and the same here on a switch one, uh, IP default gateway 172.16.99.254. And I'll do the same here on switch three, uh, IP default gateway 172.16.99.254. Now here on switch three, we have these three port F01 is connected to VLAN 30, F02, 20, and F03, 10. Just I kind of like the opposite here on connection with switch two. So on switch three, F01 mode access, switch port access VLAN uh, F01, we said VLAN 30 because the IP address PPC 1 is 30.20. So here 30. And uh, VLAN uh, F02, interface F02, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. And the last uh, uh, Link here on switch three and zero three switch port mode access switch port access VLAN ten and the port connecting between F zero uh, between switch three and switch one as a trunk port interface F zero ten switch port mode trunk switch port trunk native VLAN fifty. So now we are done with the configuring the switches. Here, uh, 
a multi-layer switch as our guy here is capable of both layer 2 switching and layer 3 routing one of the advantages of using a multi-layer switch is this dual functionality a benefit for a small to medium-sized company would be the ability to purchase a single multi-layer switch instead of separate switching and routing network devices Capabilities of multi-layer switch include the ability to route from one VLAN to another using multiple switched virtual interfaces SVI, as well as the ability to convert a layer 2 switch port to a layer 3 interface. At first, we will configure the Gigabit Ethernet 02 port on the multi-layer switch as a routed port that you can ping another layer 3 address. This port here connected to the router. So back to the MLS multi layer switch. Enable <coughs> configure terminal. Let's give it a name first MLS. Now on the interface of Gigabit Ethernet 02, simply if I try to type an IP address, it will not allow me until I type in no switch port and now I can give it the IP address of 209.165.200.225 with a slash 30 subnet mask and no shot. Let's see if we can ping from here to the other uh, Interface of 209.165.200.226 And yes, we can <clears throat> So now I will configure inter VLAN routing. I will add these VLANs here uh, To the multi-layer switch VLAN 10 20 30 and 99 so on the switch configure terminal uh, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, VLAN th 30, and VLAN 99. Now I will configure the SVI, Switch Virtual Interface, on the multi-layer switch. And I will configure and activate the SVI for the VLANs I mentioned earlier, 10, 20, 30, and 99. So now, enter VLAN 10 with the IP address of 172.16.10.254 with the subnet mask of this, the VLAN 20 with the IP address of 172.16.20.254, sorry, uh, with slash 24 subnet mask. And as for VLAN 30, with the IP address of 172.16.30.254 slash 24 subnet mask and the uh, uh, VLAN 99 with the IP address of 172.16.99.254 slash 24 subnet mask. Now <clears throat> I will enable routing, but first I will run this show command to see if the routing is enabled or not. Uh, and from here, let me type this command show IP route. As you can see, it's not set yet. Simply type this command uh, from the global configuration comp t IP routing. And from here, let's run the command again. Uh, sorry. So IP route, and as you can see, these are the routes are configured on our multi-layer switch. Now let's verify end-to-end -end connectivity. Here let's go to PCA and see a PCA, because PCA here on uh, VLAN 10, if it can ping a PC3 on this IP address. So on desktop, command prompt, ping. 
and yes we can now pcb is connected to bc2 here on the same vlan which is vlan 20 pcb and from desktop and hit command prompt ping 172.16.20.20 and the same with the pcc pcc on vlan 30 it will get with pc1 on this ip address uh, ping 172.16.30.20 and we have connectivity this is the lab for today, how to configure <coughs> uh, layer 3 switching and enter VLAN routing. Please, at the description of this video, just download the packet tracer source files and the walkthrough document. The walkthrough document will take you even more when you are building this lab and to do uh, uh, the ping and to see if you can uh, have connectivity between the devices on this network thank you so much for watching and please if you like my video share it and give me the thumb up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon in my next video have a nice day